Liam meticulously examined each bale, his hands rough from years of labor. He was determined to ensure that the hay he stored for the winter would be of the highest quality for his beloved livestock. But as he lifted a particularly heavy bale, his work process was abruptly disrupted by an unexpected discovery. Behind the hay bale, surrounded by a grim circle of dead rodents, sat two tiny, shivering baby owls. Their wide, fearful eyes met Liam's, and they emitted pitiful squeaks that pierced his heart. These helpless chicks were huddled together, their feathers still downy, and they were clearly orphaned, without a mother to care for them. Liam, a man of both practicality and compassion, knew he needed to do something. He carefully placed the bale back into its position and made a swift decision. He couldn't just leave these vulnerable creatures to fend for themselves. He picked up his phone and dialed the number of the local conservation organization dedicated to protecting and preserving wild birds. A kind voice answered, and Liam told them his story. His voice filled with concern for the owlets. The person on the other end of the line listened attentively and offered guidance. They advised Liam to put the bales back exactly where they were, for the chicks had already become accustomed to the place. It was crucial not to disrupt their fragile world any further. Furthermore, the conservationist warned Liam against using rodenticides to combat the vermin problem in his barn. Poison could easily find its way into the bodies of the owls, causing harm to the already fragile chicks. Liam carefully heeded the advice. He placed the bales back one by one, ensuring that the owlets were left undisturbed. With each gentle movement, he whispered comforting words to the two lonely baby owls. Finally, when the hay was in its proper place, Liam stepped outside the barn, his heart heavy with worry for the young owls. He closed the creaky barn door behind him, leaving a small opening for them to come and go as they pleased. As the days turned into weeks, Liam kept a watchful eye on the barn. He refrained from using rodenticides and made sure the owlets had access to fresh water and occasional bits of food. It wasn't long before the chicks began to venture out on their own, learning to hunt and adapt to their environment. 